If you own a Lamborghini Murcielago, this is the one service item that you absolutely need to do or the car will leave you stranded on the road. If you look on the internet, there's lots of examples of people having what they call the coolant hose burst on them. But let's have a look at where this coolant hose is and where the problem resides. Here we are in the workshop. As you can see, I have the engine out of my uh, 2003 Lamborghini out of the car. And uh, with the engine out, we can have a really, really good appreciation as to where this hose is. So if you can imagine, that's the front of the car. That's the passenger side in North America. That's the driver's side. And if we move towards the front of the engine, I've just placed the transmission on the floor to sort of give a feeling for where it is. But of course, the transmission would be connected. The culprit is this hose over here. And as you can see, it's a standard coolant hose. But the problem is that the hose runs very, very close to the exhaust. This is the actual path that the hose takes. So it runs really, really close to the super hot exhaust manifold. And the only thing that Lamborghini has given you is this thin little bit of covering, covering just a standard coolant hose. So what happens is this hose will be superheated over time. It degrades the rubber. And then with enough heat on, on a given drive, the hose, the hose will burst and it almost always bursts right around the area, of course, where most of the heat is. So what can we do to fix this? Well, first of all, check your service records. If your service records have not had this hose replaced uh, in any reasonable period of time, one, two years, do it. Anytime that you work on these cars where either the engine comes out or you're anywhere near the cooling system, this hose should be replaced. Now, in my particular case, I decided to take it a step further and to install a hose that is significantly stronger than the one offered by the factory. So if we work our way over here to the tool bench over here, these are the two items that I'm going to be installing. The first thing is going to be this piece of hose. This is a four layer silicone hose, high pressure, high temperature. I bought it from siliconehose.com and it's a three quarter inch internal diameter. Factory hose is 19 millimeter, which is effectively three quarters of an inch. If you compare the two hoses, just by looking at the ends of them, you can see there's a significant difference in thickness. And whereas the factory hose has one layer of uh, braided reinforcement, this one has four layers of braided reinforcement and the materials are stronger just to start with. This next step is in getting better heat shielding in this particular spot. And again, whereas Lamborghini used this tiny little piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a much larger piece of heat shielding material. It's a thicker material as well. It has a cloth braid on the inside. Once you wrap it over the hose, there's a self-adhesive. You stick this and it'll seal the hose. I will be cutting this to size, but this particular material you can see I got it from Vibrant Performance, also available online, and it is a much more substantial heat-wrapped material than what you can get otherwise, and, uh, and also much more substantial than what, than what came from Lamborghini. So hopefully this gives you appreciation as to where the hose that everyone talks about, the hose that fails, is located. And changing is a super easy thing. I mean, of course you lose coolant, and the, the system needs to be uh, refilled and bled, but there's just one hose clamp here and one hose clamp that goes to the coolant bottle in the engine bay. But if this hose fails, it will leave you at the side of the road. You will be getting towed home. And it's actually amazing the number of people on the internet that you read about and, uh, and that you see that have this hose fail. Probably the most common failure item on a Lamborghini Murcielago, easily fixed, and I think that in total, between the hose and, and the wrap, I, I'm into for about $30 or $40 in materials. Certainly not worth a tow and not worth having your day of driving ruined. So, I'm at the shop. We bid you farewell and good driving in the, the upcoming driving season.